Hi, my name is Nell Zeller, and I'm the Director of Admissions at Riverland Community College. I'd like to take a moment to personally welcome you and thank you for attending today's presentation. We don't know for sure what's going to be uh, the situation with COVID next fall. We're all crossing our fingers that we will no longer be dealing with COVID. But should we have to, we want to assure you that we have worked diligently to provide a variety of different course delivery methods that will meet you where you're at and help you achieve your career and college goals. To better illustrate that, we have a short video for you. There's a whole lot of uncertainty in today's world, but one thing is certain. Riverland is ready for you when the new semester starts. We are fully staffed, 100% operational, and eager to welcome you. We know that you have questions about what classes will look like next semester. Be assured that we are working hard to provide you with a variety of course delivery methods that will best suit your educational needs and learning preferences, while at the same time following social distancing protocol and CDC guidelines. Because in addition to providing best-in-class college education and experience, we are committed to making the safety of our students, staff, and faculty a top priority. Although things continue to change, we continue to follow our plan. A plan that's flexible, safe, effective, and that meets your needs. While we don't have all the answers quite yet, we are committed to keeping you informed, keeping you safe, and keeping you on track to accomplish your college and career goals. We will continue offering three types of classes this upcoming semester, tailored to best suit your educational needs and your learning preference. Online Anytime courses. These are traditional online courses where you never have to come to campus and you log in when it works best for you to complete your coursework. Online on a schedule courses. For these classes, you will log in and join a live class session at the time indicated on the schedule using distance learning technology to engage synchronously with your teachers and classmates. Hybrid and high flex courses. These courses will include a combination of some on-campus class time in groups of 25 or less and some distance learning to allow safe, flexible learning. Attend some of your classes on campus using social distancing and CDC protocol and attend some of your classes online. Student services staff are available and ready to assist you with the admissions process, financial aid, and registering for classes. All services are available online, and most services are also available on campus. Other student services include tutoring, student life, student groups and organizations, career and pathway advising, counseling for personal needs, and accessibility services. Although we have to be ready to change due to the pandemic, this doesn't mean you should wait to apply to the college, apply for financial aid, or register for your classes. We encourage you to take those steps today. Remember, student services staff are ready and waiting to help you. If changes are made, we will share those updates with you so you're in the loop based on the latest information. Check out riverland.edu slash health update for the latest updates related to COVID-19. We're going to make it through this challenging time because we care about you and your education. Stay tuned for more updates over the coming weeks. We look forward to welcoming both new and returning students to Riverland in whatever course delivery method works best for you. Okay, thank you. As the semester gets closer, please feel free to check our uh, website um, and you can see the latest updates on course delivery and other matters surrounding COVID. As we pro progress with our uh, presentation, uh, and if you have any questions, please just feel free to click on that question and answer button. We will answer all those questions at the end of our presentation. And now I'd like to start on our next se section by introducing Taylor Flugie, one of our admissions specialists. Hi, my name is Taylor Flugie, and I'm an admissions specialist with Riverland Community College. I am a community college graduate, and one thing that I'm very passionate about is promoting the community college experience to students that are in high school. Um, one thing that I really enjoyed about my community college experience was I was able to keep playing sports, so I was a college athlete, and I saved a ton of money um, going to community college first and then transferring to my bachelor's degree and then eventually on to my master's degree. 
And so it was a really nice base for me to get started on my educational career after high school. So with Riverlands Community College, we are one of 30, 37 state colleges and universities in the Minnesota state system. Um, Riverland itself serves just over 4,000 students. And that is um, between our three campuses, which is Austin, Albert Lee, and Owatonna, and our online coursework, which includes full programs and individual classes. Our three campuses are located along the I-90 and I-35 corridor. So right there in the east, central, eastern, southern part of Minnesota. Um, so we are ready and available to assist you um, in whatever way that your schedule might need for classes. We are a community and technical college. So what this means is that we offer a wide range of academic programs. This includes the first two years of any four-year degree. That is the community aspect of a community college. And then we also offer short-term training um, workforce ready programs. So this is more hands-on programs um, that you could take short-term, which goes directly into the workforce. So if you are ready just to go um, take a short-term program and get a job, um, that would be the technical aspect of our, our college. Um, so what aspect is right for you depends on your personal college and career goals. The first option there is an associative arts degree. This is also called liberal arts, general education, getting your generals done. Um, there's a lot of different words for it, but essentially it all means the same thing. Um, it is the first two years of a bachelor's degree. That is what the Associative Arts degree program is, okay? So we can award you an Associative Arts degree and an AA degree after you complete 60 semester credits. Um, you would then be able to transfer those to a university or college of your choice. This option is also really nice for students um, as a second chance opportunity so maybe you're a student that didn't do too well in high school, you didn't really think that it was a great option for you to go to a university and get a bachelor's degree, you can still come to Riverland, um, get an associate of arts degree, and then transfer. A lot of those universities are only going to look at how well you did at a community college and not even really take into consideration your high school uh, transcript record at all. Um, as long as you did well here at a community college first. So at Riverland, you can truly start here and transfer anywhere. So will your credits transfer? The short answer is yes. Um, Minnesota State does a wonderful job at making sure that credits transfer. Um, you can transfer to you know, anywhere in Minnesota. Um, or you can transfer anywhere in the country or perhaps worldwide if you want to. Um, just make sure that if you are transferring out of the Minnesota State um, system, that you get in touch with the college that you want to transfer to um, with their registrar's office and just ask them how the credits are going to transfer. So it's a good idea to run it by the registrar's office first. Um, transfer pathways. This is an awesome opportunity that Minnesota State has incorporated into our, their curriculum. Essentially what this means is that you do two years at Riverland, you declare a transfer pathway major, and then all of your 60 credits will transfer to a Minnesota State University. And not only does it count as gen general education classes, but they will go towards your bachelor's degree as well. So you are guaranteed 60 college credits towards your bachelor's degree program in the major that you declare. Um, so this is really a great opportunity for students who know what major they want to make sure that they don't have to take any extra classes when they transfer. Bachelor degree partnerships. So these are what we call two plus two programs. 
Um, we have three of these programs currently. We have a nursing program, elementary education, and human services. What this means is that you do two years at Riverland in one of those programs, and then Winona State or College of St. Scholastica come to Riverland and they teach the last two years of that bachelor's degree. This is a really great opportunity for students who perhaps don't want to move um, to get that last two years completed because they can get it completed right here locally um, on our campus. One other program that we offer is something called honors. Um, this program offers additional learning opportunities for students. Um, so instead of sitting in a traditional lecture type class, um, it's a service learning. So you might go out into the field, um, explore caves, take rock samples, paddle down rivers. Um, it's a really hands-on type of experience for liberal arts students, which is very nice. Um, it provides leadership development. Um, and then you can also, if you're an honor student, you can join our Phi Theta Kappa chapter. And that is our national award winning honor society. Um, it provides you the opportunities to do different activities, projects, and you get the opportunity to travel. And who doesn't like the opportunity to travel um, and get some more experience to add to that resume. So, Right now, we're going to go ahead and move on to the career and technical education aspect of our presentation. And I'm going to introduce Nuno Mahat. Thank you, Taylor. Um, again, I am Muna Mohammed. I'm an admissions specialist at Riverland Community College and I've been here um, at Riverland for about two years now. Um, before starting my position at Riverland, I was a college student. Um, I started my college career at Riverland Community College right after graduating from Altana High School. I saw the many benefits Riverland offered and wanted to take advantage of those benefits and so I um, came to Riverland and pursued my um, Associate of Arts or General Education before transferring to Minnesota State University, Mankato, where I got a bachelor's in international relations and a double minor in political science and communication studies. Um, and it's now great to be back at Riverland helping prospective students navigate through the admissions process. Um, so I work predominantly with our career technical programs in Altana and Albert Lee. Um, so as you guys can see, we have over um, more than 50 career programs in career and technical education. Um, so what I will do is kind of go over one or two programs within each career cluster. Um, so within agriculture and food science, we have an associate of science in biotechnology, which has a 60 credit program based in Austin. Um, so this degree will um, get you into like entry level positions within the food industry. So maybe um, a position within Hormel. Um, within business and financial, we have um, accounting and there are different degree paths that students can take, um, whether it's the diploma, the transfer pathway, or the Associate of Applied Science. Um, accounting and many of our other business and financial programs can be taken um, completely online. So within community and social services, we have human services, which is one of the um, bachelor's degree partnerships that we have with St. Celastica. So again, that would be getting your bachelor's degree at Riverland um, while having the, the faculty from St. Celastica coming to our campus instead of having students um, transferring over there. So another program, um, some programs within construction is we have a one year residential carpentry and then we also have the two year commercial carpentry. We also have construction electrician that offers both residential and commercial um, training within the program. A really neat thing that our carpentry and construction electrician students do is they partner to with ha Habitat for Humanity and the carpentry students will build the house and then the electrical students will do all the wiring. So that's another way to get some real life experience. Within healthcare, we have several programs. We have nursing, um, medical assistant, radiography, um, and most of those are based in Austin. Um, our information technology is 
um, some of our online programs. We have like web developer, computer technology, cybersecurity, to name a few. Um, we can, you, students are able to get certificates in these fields, um, diplomas, or the two-year associate's degree. Within manufacturing and engineering, we have a pro program called industrial maintenance and mechanics, which is one of our stackable degrees. And so what that means is students can start, um, for example, the first semester, they'll get their foundation classes out of the way. And then the second semester, let's say they do welding, if they wanted at that point to um, end their um, time here at Riverland, they would graduate with a welding diploma. But let's say they decide to continue and come back for that third semester, then they would get the machining diploma, come back the fourth semester, and then they get that maintenance repair diploma. So three diplomas within two years, and they also learn how to operate a boiling system, which will get students into some of the larger infrastructures. So like um, hospitals and schools, and um, that's just another opportunity to have more skills under your belt. Within motor vehicle repair, we have auto and diesel mechanics. Um, really nice thing about these two programs is that we, um, Riverland received a $10 million bonding bill from the state to renovate and update those facilities. And so um, students are now able to get, you know, um, experience and training in a brand new facility. Our diesel program um, shop was expanded to include ACQUA equipment um, and we'll also be moving our transportation truck driving program to the new transportation center in Albert Lee. Um, so personal care and service, we have um, massage therapy and cosmetology, um, public safety, students can get um, law enforcement or corrections. And then like I said, transportation, we have truck driving, a 16 week course that will eventually be moving to our Albert Lee campus. So um, some hands-on training, um, Riverland, a lot of our career technical programs will be predominantly um, spent spending their time in the class in the shop room setting. So 30% of classroom time and then 70% will be in the shops. Um, this is just another way to get the skills and training students need to be able to enter their workforce. Um, the classes you'll be taking will be specific to the career or program you're pursuing. And so you'll only be taking a couple of general courses that are required for you to be successful in that field. Um, and so if you love doing hair, if you love doing nails, if you love working on cars, um, you can pursue the degree on, and, and, and really focus on the area that you love the, the, the fields that you love to work in. Uh, most programs at Riverland will have sim simulation training experiences included. Um, so a couple that I have pictures of are, um, so the virtual reality glasses, that's what our career, computer technology and web developer programs use. Um, we have healthcare simulations, so some real life mannequins that students are able to get real life ex um, training on. Um, so the mannequins sometimes will actually end up giving birth, they, they can, you know, give birth or we have like infant um, mannequins that students can practice on and see what type of course of action they need um, for that patient. We have the welding simulator, which is part of the industrial maintenance and mechanic program. Um, we have the um, law enforcement criminal justice simulator, which is actually one of the um, only simulators in the Midwest um, that has the five screens. So this is an opportunity for our instructors to program a scenario and then we'll, they'll grade the students to see how they react. Um, some other simulations that we have that are not um, shown on here are the animatage table, which is um, like a virtual autopsy that our radiography students um, can use. And it actually has real life human bodies that were donated to science. And so students are able to like dissect the human body to see, you know, the different layers within the human body. So it's a really neat thing that students can get some more training on. We have the truck driving and combine simulator. And this is another way for students to get hands on experience um, within their area. So this is a really nice statistic I like to share with students. Um, so it's, I, I would say it's a myth that most people think you require uh, jobs are require require a bachelor's or a master's degree. When in actuality, seventy percent of jobs require a one year diploma or two year degree, um, and that's what we offer here at Riverland Community College. So 
the job demand is there and we offer the education to get you those specific jobs. Growing job demand, um, most of the CTE careers are currently the most in demand jobs in the United States um, and in Minnesota specifically. Um, as you saw the one to seven ratio, the demand is there. Um, we also have a shortage of skilled laborers. Most of the workforce are in that um, retiring age. And so we need new um, skilled workers to be able to take over for them. And so that what that shows is that the growth is predicted to continue um, specifically in like the healthcare manufacturing building, building trade and transportation careers. Um, what that means then for for students and future employees is that they will be um, their pay increases. So short term training equals big rewards. Um, as you can see, uh, an electrician is making about $33 and that's the Minnesota median average, um, median wage. And so you can see police officers are about $35 an hour, um, massage therapist $24 an hour. And this is you with um, maybe little to no college debt. Um, you've graduated within a year or two years after high school if you go this the career tech route right away and you'll be entering the workforce making um, those wages. So we went over the difference between community and technical colleges um, and some of the benefits they offer, but they're specific to the programs, but there are many other benefits as to why students should go to a community and or technical college. And we'll have Miguel Karate, one of the uh, one of our other admissions specialists, um, tell you what those benefits are. Thank you. Hello, my name is Miguel Garate, and, and I'm from Mexico and um, moved to Minnesota in 1997 and I fall in love with Minnesota, especially the winter and coming from a hot spot, you know, Texas and then moving to Minnesota, this is so different that I decide to stay and why not? I've been here for 23 years and why not in Riverland, you know? Riverland is one of the community and technical college they offer the most affordable tuition in the state. The graphic here that I will show you is based on a full-time student, 15 credits per semester. You can see the other states and colleges around the area, like Minnesota State University, Mankato, and Winona State University, there are like 3,000 more. The University of Minnesota and Rochester, they're like a, over $8,000 more. If you wanna to go to a private college, like at St. Olaf for places like that, you were talking about $30,000 or more. And remember, you would take the same general classes here at Riverland that you can take anywhere in Minnesota to the four-year university and do and not offer any short-term career and technical education. As you can see, it's a big difference. That's why Riverland is very affordable and is the best place to start. You will also save significant money by living at home. Our student housing in Riverland, our rent and utilities are very expensive in the cities where you, where the four-year universities are located, often as a much as a tuition. Even with affordable tuition, please know there is a financial aid help available to help you pay for the college. You're talking about applying for financial aid. But first of all, you need to apply and get your financial aid in place. And there's only a few factors that you have to include. If you're under 24 years old and single, you have to include your parents' information on personal taxes for the year before, the number of family. Once you submitted your application, you will receive a notification saying that everything is in process. And then after you finalize and it's ready for payment, you, get, you will get an award letter that includes three types of aid. First of all, the grants, there is a free money that you don't have to pay back. The second one is loans that you can borrow money and you have to pay that after you finish your school, no matter how long you've been in college. And then the good one is work study. You can work during your school and then you can, we can work around your schedule and you can make money when you earn school. And then you're talking about maybe you will get free money up to $6,345 a year and you will get 
$1,500 per semester as a work study. Compare the Riverline full-time tuition is $5,562, and you will have a little money left. And then don't forget that we can help with the Dream App application too. Riverland offered and encouraged everyone to apply for financial aid. I'm sorry, for scholarships. Over a million awards last year, that was awarded last year every semester. It's a simple application. It's only four questions about yourself. The more you talk about yourself, is the more chances that you can get in a scholarship. And you're talking about free money there. Opportunity and access. Our president, Dr. Adenuga Atalahum, is committed to, to, he wants to everyone to have the opportunity to go to college. We offer an open admissions policy, no application fee, no GPA requirement, no ACT or SAT required. The only thing we need is for you to fill it up in application, submit your high school transcripts or your GED, and then you're welcome to Riverland. Consulate service for career planning and personal issues. Accessibility services are, are available to provide necessary accommodations for those with disabilities. We even offer a food pantry and all three campus three days a week. Now here to talk about a student life and housing is Alexis Pearson, our director of residential and the student life. Thank you very much. Hello and welcome. And I'm gonna start off by saying, Go Blue Devils! <laughs> so as a Blue Devil here at Riverland, there's gonna be many ways uh, for you to be engaged. But before I tell you about that, let me tell you about who I am. So I'm Alexis Persons. I'm the Director of Residential and Student Life here. Uh, I uh, attended MSU Mankato, uh, was a resident advisor there, got involved, uh, was a president of a couple of clubs, found out that I really love being involved, uh, went to Oklahoma State University, got my master's degree, and now I'm back here working with the students of Riverland, getting students involved and having a lot of fun. So a couple ways for students to get involved are uh, our residential life. So as stated before, you can live on campus. We're gonna talk more about that in a little bit. Uh, student activities, so we have multiple different student groups you can be uh, involved in. Uh, we have Amnesty International, Honors, Home Builders Association, Skills, and more. Uh, athletics, so we have um, six different athletics teams and we are a member of the NJCAA. We also have arts and theater, which we will also talk about. So our student activities. First of all, we like to welcome you back to campus with River Days. And that is just saying, welcome back. Here's a bunch of activities. Get involved, get acclimated to campus and figure out how things work. We also do tailgating events. We have our Blue Devil Wellness Challenge so you can work out for free on campus, attend other wellness events, rack up points that you can then turn in to get duffel bags, shaker bottles, and lots of other different things. Our Student Leadership Coalition meetings with Dr. Nuga. So this is a really great opportunity where our student leaders get to interact directly with our president, talking about uh, different ways to get involved as well as different things that are going on campus. Uh, student life walks and runs, scavenger hunts, yoga, lunch and learn, hoop talks, workshops, the list continues to go on. So there's lots of different ways that you can get involved in activities. Our student clubs and organizations, we have a little bit of something for everyone. And we encourage you to jump out and get involved in all that stuff because this is your opportunity to reinvent yourself. You're going to a new place potentially or you're separating from high school who you were in high school. And this is an opportunity for you to try new things and meet new people and figure out what it is that makes you really happy. And also an opportunity for you to fill your resume. And so being involved in these student groups can assist with that. So we have different things such as Accent, our Egg Club, which does a lot of different volunteering, as well as our Criminal Justice Society that does a lot of work with our food pantries and other initiatives, as well as our Human Services Club Deeds that does a free garage sale that allows over 600 individuals every semester to uh, get clothing items, pots, pans, different things that they need for free. So that's a really great initiative. Our theater and music. So in addition to being an actor or an actress in this situation, uh, you could work on the stage, you could help with building sets, you could help with lights. So there's lots of different ways to get involved in theater. Some students come to Riverland, try out theater and find out that that is what they want to do because our theater program is so open and any student can be involved. Uh, in addition to this, each student at Riverland, each Blue Devil here gets two tickets to each production and we do about four a year. 
Next up, we have our athletics. So volleyball, soccer, men's and women's basketball, softball, baseball. One plus of athletics is not uh, just the sports that we offer, but also that you can be involved in more than one. So if you love being involved in high school and you wanna continue that engagement in sports here at the college level, you can by being involved in our athletics teams. All right, we're gonna show you a quick video of our residential life and see what it looks like to be living within our units. Hello, I'm Alexis Persons, the Director of Residential and Student Life. I'm talking to you a little bit today about living on campus. So we offer apartment style units with three bedrooms, two furnished bathrooms, a kitchen, a living room, and a great pantry area. In addition to that, we furnish it with a couch, a couple chairs, a few bar stools, end tables, mattress, and a bed frame. So all you have to bring is your clothes, your toiletries, your pillow and your bedding, and your kitchen supplies. How are students grouped together in housing? We try to group students by their academic program or their involvement, and we believe that this helps students be most successful inside and outside of the classroom, as well as connecting to people uh, that are similar to you. Outside of your unit, we also have a community center where you can get your mail, you can play pool, ping pong, you can pick up pots and pans, and you can do your laundry. In addition to that, we have community assistants on campus. What they do is they put on different types of events like bonfires, taco night, grocery runs, and more. Uh, they also help with safety and security. So if things look funky, they help with reporting that. Uh, they also help with health and safety checks. And so with these are going in and making sure that units um, are clean correctly and that things are not being damaged so that students live in a healthy and safe environment for all students, not just a few in the unit. So that's a brief synopsis on housing. If you have any questions, email me. Thank you, Alexis. Um, we hope that you enjoyed your time with us today and that you were able to learn a lot about Riverland Community College. Um, but what we'd really love in addition to this presentation is if you would come and visit us on any of our three campuses or via Zoom or phone appointment. Um, to connect with us and make an appointment, please just visit our website and go to www.riverland.edu backslash visit. Thank you again for your time today. And we look forward to seeing you in the future. Um, if you would like to follow us on social media, please feel free to do so. Thanks and have a good day.